Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Avery. I'm 24 years old and I make videos all about personal finance content. So if that's something that interests you, please subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, we will be going over my November budget recap, what I spent and what I earned. So if you end up enjoying it, um, please like the video. It really helps out my channel. So first thing I like to do with every budget recap is to check how much I made. So I'm using the budgeting software YNAB or you need a budget and that's how I like to do my spending and income reports. Um, if you want to try it out, there is a free trial linked in the description. So in November, I made $3,850.74. Pretty good income month because it was a three paycheck month, the way that my pay paychecks fell. So I, I got way more income than I normally do from my full-time job. Um, yes. So for the month of November, let's go ahead and get into the spending. Um, for my spending, I spent a total of $2,452.15. Overall, this is... um lower than uh, the month of October, so I'm happy about that. And I ended up spending less than what I made, so I'm also happy about that. But ultimately, I'm really happy about my spending overall because I tried to focus on just more so the essentials and not do too much spending on like things that I don't necessarily need or more so like I just wanted my spending to be more of like intentional I guess is a better way to explain it and we can talk about it more when we get into the actual spending categories so let's start with housing it's usually the most straightforward I pay rent and water of $858 I live alone and I live in the midwest so this is for a one-bedroom apartment for household I spent how much did I spend? I spent $61.26. I just bought some standard things like toilet paper. I bought a calendar. I bought like a Swiffer mop. And that's why it costs that much. If we go into investments, this is the second highest category for spending this month. So I'm happy about that. Um, since the money is leaving my bank account, it's considered technically spent. Even if I'm necessarily just putting it towards something like a financial goal for the future, like investments. So in investments, I put $353.10 into my Roth IRA. I normally do a $165 monthly contribution, and I try to put extra money in there if I can. So I'm very, very happy about that. And then for health and fitness, um, it was a pretty big medical spending month for me, and I guess it's going to continue to be like that in December, most likely. If I take a look at what I bought, um, it was mostly like prescriptions. Like this was a prescription, this was a prescription, some medical supplies. I ended up getting pink eyes, so I had um, to get eye drops for that, and then more prescriptions and then I the pink the eye drops didn't work so I had to get eye ointment things like that um so pretty big month on medical and I already have a medical bill for next for December so um it's a $70 bill for um a test that wasn't covered by insurance but no one told me I was getting the test but whatever so it's gonna be another big month in the month of December um, wellness 139 I spent $139 at cycle bar that's the spin studio I use for my spin classes um, I've been really liking my spin classes um, I was kind of sick a lot in the month of November so it was a little hard to go as much as I wanted to but ultimately I'm pretty happy with what I was able to manage given everything going on okay so food spending I did really really well on food spending honestly like I'm a bit shocked so I have if you've watched any of my other like budget reports or budget recap videos I definitely spend a lot more than I budget for dining out um, but this month that did not happen so for groceries I spent most of my money on food in grocery category I tried to budget $150 for groceries so I ended up spending $167.85 so I ended up being a little over but I'm ultimately okay with that because if we take a look at dining out, I only spent $25.29. And I actually only spent $14.16 on myself and my boyfriend. We ended up going to Culver's. Um, and then I spent $11.13 on food for my mom. So I put it in dining out. But I, ended, I didn't end up eating any of it because I wasn't eating it. I was getting it for her for, um, she had a surgery in the month of November. It went well, but she needed to eat. Like it's, the surgery ended later than when um like the hospital's like food court closed so she couldn't eat any of that so i brought her food and then i spent 43.30 on coffee 
Um, as far as coffee goes, I try to budget $50 a month for this, so it is under, so I'm happy about that. And most of it seems to be Starbucks. And then I also went to a gratuity-free coffee shop, so one where no taxes, or no, no tips. You don't have to give a tip, but they do charge quite a bit for a latte. But I like supporting the concept, so that's why I did it. Um, continuing on, utilities. So utilities are pretty straightforward. I spent $69.99 on the internet. I spent $50.43 on gas for my house, $37.16 on my phone, and $25.93 on electric. I do live alone, so I don't split these bills with anyone. That's why there's high, like, this is just for one person, basically. On my focus on now category, this is typically um, spending that I am focusing on at the moment. So if I click on it, I spent $10.35 on health, beauty, and clothing. Pretty good month on that. Only bought a hair clip and some conditioner. And I spent, ended up spending quite a bit on gifts, which is fine. Um, but what I spent money on was I spent $60 on a vet visit for my sister's dog. She needed to take her dog to the vet and she didn't have the money for it. So I sent her the money and I said I'd cover it. So I spent, I gave her 60 bucks for that as a gift. And then I bought 112.20 I spent on a Nutcracker ticket. So me and my mom are going to go see the Nutcracker for her birthday. Her birthday is in December. I'm really excited for this, but the tickets were kind of pricey. It was $112.20 for one ticket. So I ended up getting it, putting it in my gift category for her, but I am so excited, like really excited to go to this because, um, I haven't seen the Nutcracker, like a professional, um, uh, Nutcracker performance since, Oh gosh, since I was a child, so it'll be the first time since then that we've gone. And this is honestly, I'm not too upset about this because it's exactly how I want to spend my money and my budget on things that I actually care about, things that I'm interested in, and more so like experiences and rather than just like accumulating more stuff. Um, so yes, very excited about that one. And my fun slash spending. Um, if we click on it, there's the other Nutcracker ticket, one for myself. I ended up spending $5.36 on a Peacock subscription for the month to watch some gymnastics. I bought Trick Mirror by Gia Tolentino as a, it's a book. I spent $1 on the Athletic subscription. It's for like, um, sports news, but I've canceled it after this. And then I spent $14.62 and I bought Animal Farm by George Orwell. I've read it before, but I saw a nice copy of it and I didn't own it, so I got it. I also spent $12.89 on a one-year subscription to Happy Scale. I'm currently trying to um, lose weight just to see if it'll help for my blood pressure. Um, so I'm, that's why I decided to get that because I was reading about it and I was listening to some podcasts and it seems like it's a good thing to have because Happy Scale, basically what it does is it gives you a moving average of your average like weight over the course of like a week, a month, however long that you've been using the app. The idea is that you weigh in every day and then it'll show you like what your current rate of loss is over like averaged over time since as you know, if you've ever tried to lose weight, that every time you step on the scale, like you can have weight fluctuations every day, but you want the average to be trending downward is how I understand it. So that's what that app does. So if you want to check that out, you can just Google it and look for, look into it some more. Yes. So transportation, not too bad on the transportation front. I use this category for primarily just buying gas, but also some parking if I'm going to different places in the city that require parking. But I only spent um, $85.70, so not too bad. And then my sinking funds, how much did I do? Okay, so I've already spent some money in Christmas, and I'm going to be releasing a video for my Christmas budget all about it. So hopefully I work on this one, that one after this one. Um, but I spent $18.44 on some Christmas stuff already. I spent $17.41 on some holiday lights. I spent... Ooh, oh, I returned the holiday lights, some of them, for ten forty five. so that's why it's a plus right here. And then I spent eleven forty eight on butter, because I do a lot of baking during the holidays, and I wanted to stock up on the butter, because it was on sale. Um, stuff I forgot to budget for. Okay, so this was kind of a fail. It's kind of funny, because I didn't do any dining out, but I did have a Dash Pass, like, from DoorDash. I was trying, like, a month-long free trial, and it said it wasn't going to charge me at the end of it, but it ended up charging me $10 for the next month, so I got that canceled for sure this time, but I put it under what I forgot to budget for, because 
I didn't think I was paying for that. So that's $9.99. And then I have two late cancellation fees with Cycle Bar um, because I was sick. And when you schedule through them, if you cancel within 12 hours, it's um, a $10, what is it called? A $10 late cancellation fee, which I think is totally ridiculous, but whatever, that is what I signed up for. But the problem with that is if you wake up in the morning, like say you wake up at seven and you're feeling ill. So if you're ill, more like sick than you were the night before, or if you have pink eye in the morning, it's like you don't know soon enough that you can't go to the class if you're trying to be proactive and schedule it early you just run into a scenario because i would do a lot of the 5 p.m classes so if i'm waking up at 7 a.m in the morning um it's already in the 12 hour cancellation window so it just is what it is but i am trying to cut down on these i guess just by scheduling the classes not signing up for them until like a few hours before. But the problem with that is I'm the kind of person where if I don't have it like on the books, it's so easy to like rationalize just not going that day. So it's just a bit of a, uh, I don't know, is it a catch 22? <laughs> I don't know, but it's okay. Just something I've been dealing with. And then the most basic category of all is subscriptions. It's just 2032. I spend money on an Apple iCloud subscription, Spotify for 1074, and then an Apple Care. I should probably update these so I remember. Like make this one Apple Care and this one Apple for $8.59 a month for my iPhone. All together is $2,452.15. So honestly, um pretty happy with that. I ended up having a surplus if we go here of $1,398.59, which would technically give me a 36.3 savings rate. Um, I did the math on this. If I wanted to add in the investing that I did, because that's technically a form of saving, um, that would actually bring me up to a 45.5% savings rate, which is great. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, it was a three paycheck month. So it's kind of like, that's not going to happen every month. Like more often than not, it's not going to happen. So yeah, that's what I spent in the month of November. As far as December goes, I don't think I'm going to be as successful with my dining out category because I just already have some like things in the books where I'm going to be spending time with friends and family. So most likely I'll end up spending more than that. I've already spent money on dining out this month and it was like 30 bucks. So we will see what happens. And then um, anything else that's happening in December? Uh, Christmas, of course. I celebrate Christmas. So there'll be some spending on that. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a video all about my Christmas budget and I'm also going to have a net worth video. Finally, <laughs> I know people have been asking for it. It's coming. I'm going to have a net worth update video since I haven't done one in like five or six months. So if you want to see any of that, go ahead and subscribe. And there's going to be a lot more videos as well for the month of December. I really want to post a lot because I have a lot of things that are happening this month that I'll get into in other videos. All right. Thank you for watching. I, if you like this video, please like it. It really helps out my channel. Otherwise I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.